sniper run through. So I figured playing it again would be uh, nostalgic. It, it just honestly feels awful. At least for this run, we're just gonna use Sola and have and just just have some fun with it today. I'm not gonna use the AC. I'm gonna try out that challenge with. Now oh yeah, this feels so much better. So much better. Who re who remembers, by the way, AC4, where normals actually have a damn health bar? Uh, honestly, yes. But that is, but, uh, Octagero, that is also part of the issue with it, is that, say, is that, for that same, like, same reason, the PAL version of Armored Core, Core for Answer doesn't, doesn't have data transfer. Because the, because the PAL publisher decided not to do the effort to do it. Why the hell is it having me use the Zoktu over the Hitman? Though I love how this game gives you so much to start with that you can fool around with and sell. What FCS do I have? Can missiles work? Yeah, missiles are fine with this. Do we do we have stabilizers I can use? Like, what stabilizers do I actually get access to? Yeah, I'll leave those alone for now. No, I was saying Armored Core 2 Another Age, not, not Armored Core for Answer. Uh, uh, and sorry, uh, Tiberius, yes, armor, yes, uh, armor, sorry, armor core 
Core 4 Answer definitely has got extra parts, considering that every part in Armored Core 4 is also an Armored Core 4 Answer. The mission objective is a complete elimination of terrorist forces. It's nice to see that for some reason the radar is broken. But yeah, in case no one's noticed, uh, the radar is broken, and I'm not sure why. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with it today. The radar not working is just honestly a minor inconvenience. Anywho, we can yeah we can chalk this up as a mission that's going to work for the for the no boost challenge. Now, sharpshooting. Sharpshooting actually seems doable depending on how we land. Now, you may you may ask me, how the hell does sharpshooting seem doable without boosting? And that is because I do something that people don't, in that I actually use manual aiming. So as long as we can land on a building at the start, this should be doable. Enemy units oh, right, auto boost is going to actually move me when I'm close to the ground as well. Okay, so there's a cannon there. Can we shoot it from here? How far do those go? Okay, in theory, we can shoot it from the start if we do aim properly. We can also hit that one from the start. Okay, so they do need more than two hits. Good to know. Okay, yeah, so if I nail them. The mission was a success. Yeah, I can. If I have the long range FCS, I can definitely lock on and nail them from the spawn. And it looks like they do way less damage than the Procyon tunnel cannons, so that's also fine. I don't believe descent is possible. Baldora may also be possible. So here's the, here's the other thing as well. Because manual aiming works, while there are cannons here and a lot of enemies, if you lob a grenade cannon we'll at, at one of these struts on these buildings, they do fall down. So as long as I do it right, if you launch a grenade cannon down here and this stuff blows up, the whole, the whole thing will actually collapse. Though obviously a machine gun's not really going to cut it. I'm actually surprised it's still standing, even after all this. This shows the power, the power of explosives. Yeah, there we go. See, see, the whole thing collapses. While I was doing a piss poor job of it with these machine guns, the actual missiles will do fine. I mean, the actual grenades will do fine. The former Galta Fortress is ahead. A defensive force of normals is in place. Take them all out.
You know, the one... The one missile launcher still looks like clown vomit. I also forgot how much, like, Armored Core 4 just shits money at you. Okay, the Standstorm Citadel should also be fine Let's for the purpose of not using boost. You just have to you know, okay, either spend a lot of time walking around the outside or go through the middle. The ballistic missiles you're after are in the if I do go through the middle, how many enemies are there? Oh, it's just literally a bunch of chicken walkers. Go around the buildings. Some normals. Crashed helicopter. Yeah, I might want to walk around the outside for this. Honestly, Dr. Jiro, I would love remakes of these. I would love remakes of armored, of like all of them, to be honest. Especially because they're so hard for people to get and try out now. Okay, Desert Wolf. Is honestly also going to be ridiculously easy for the no boost as long as I get good stability legs reason being is that having having a long lock on range and having a grenade backs or just even decent missiles if they're available at this point can easily kill him before he moves Hello, Amazi. Barbaroy has gone silent. The mission was a success. Good work. An Uber backwards compatible Come PlayStation. On. I mean, in theory, that's just a Steam Deck, but you know. Um, I ain't ever buying a Steam Deck. So, chapter one should be fairly easy. This one. So, water gliding is doable. Might makes right is also... No, might, might makes right is not doable. The tubes, I can't climb them. Water gliding is doable. Icebreaker defense, in theory, is going to suck, but is doable. And depending on... So, there are two maps... Sorry, two missions on this map. If this is the one... Where it's killing the planes and you start on the Let's bridge, this is doable. We've so if this is the one where you start on the bridge, it should be fine. If it's the one that starts at the bottom, it, it ain't gonna happen. Enemy supply unit approaching. Yeah, this one while sucking will be doable. From on top of the bridge. If the setup is done right. I love how awesome the sun is in this one. Doesn't everyone just love that sun? This is Brooks, that's Sunday. I'm just I'm just checking out the mission routing. The no boost is Sunday, it's Friday. And who now, where is that damn train? Yeah, and the bridge does go up here. If I manual aim down here, I can easily kill it. Enemy 
Yeah, I can kill that easily by just lobbing a manually and grenade from the bridge. The mission was a success. Yeah, so honestly, Brooks, it seems like I'm gonna be using a lot a lot of grenades and snipers. This one, I'm not sure if it's possible without boosting, so let's do water gliding. Pray we don't have to do Operation Defense. I mean, uh, not Operation Defense, uh, the Icebreaker Defense. Objective sighted. But yeah, this one, if you... Just to quickly check this out, it should, it should be fine. Because, as you said, the auto boost is basically just built in hover. The auto boost does not consume energy. Oh, that's gonna suck. That that is actually not nice. That's not the last of them. Take them all out. Oh, that is good. That that's gonna suck on Sunday. I didn't realize how much damage that cannon did. Yeah, so it's definitely going to work on Sunday. It's just going to take some. Not some, a lot of. It's going to take a lot of finagling. I think for this one, I'm going to need probably rifle. Probably rifles and grenade launchers. I believe I know what's going on here. I believe that got overtuned. So this is also something that I'm going to make to be making uh, sorry, to be making use of is that there's now seven regulations on this game of stats. Which means I can, in certain ones, I may, I may have to change them. No, I just I just have to rush it faster. The cannons can't turn. Well, no, I can't rush it faster. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have boost. And the V and the, the also the two shot VTFs are not good in this one. Okay. Uh, so so not necessarily Memphis. Here is the thing. So Armored Core Four answer. One point three and one point four are definitely multiplayer. Yeah. So okay. So here is the here is the main thing here. It's like. So the 1.1 is just an overall balance change because overboost didn't work. So 1.2 buffed up heavy frames because heavies were not comparable anymore. 1.3 honestly just fixed up boosters and just made everything overall higher. Mediums and heavies got a got a 
a bit of a buff, but it but it but it made moving better. 1.4 was turning ability. Basically made everything turn faster. It rebalanced arms and legs. Readjusted overall some weapons that weren't doing well. So 1.5 was again an FCS generator and just an overall movement buff. And 1.6 was once again a movement buff, but it also heavily buffed up the uh, buffed up the actual weapon arms. But the main thing is that 1.2 heavily, heavily buffed up missiles. And also any solid round that has an impact, like those cannons. Wait, now, do I have better missiles I can get access to? Oh yeah, yeah, plats are great. Yeah, so overall, the like unlike 1.3 and 1.4 for armor core for answer, they for the most part didn't focus for online play for those. It was just overall changes. But the but the 1.6 weapon arm buff was actually quite strong. Obviously, we all know how this is going to work for doing the uh yeah, for doing the uh, zero boost run, is that we just have to sit back and shoot them. This is mostly going to be about not wasting ammo. Also, the guys that are that are on that hill are going to be a pain. What the hell was that game? Come on. That's split missiles, and there we go. Anatolia is still standing. Mission accomplished. I forgot that normal mode only o only has those freaking missile trucks. That that's not an issue. I was thinking it was gonna have the giant walking fort in it. Though I think it's time to retire the machine guns. The, the machine guns got us to where we want to go. Well, it crashed. You know, I don't fucking understand. The game in January ran perfectly fine. And then in December, they did an update. It broke. It was struggling. Started working again around like January 1st or something. Now, a month later, they do an update and the whole thing breaks again. Like, will it kill you guys to just test your updates? Yeah, hopefully the update tomorrow will fix this issue. Also, thank God, armor, uh, um, armored core for answer is more stable than this one. I think we're only back like a single level. Yeah.
Should have some FRS memory, right? Yeah. Here, let's go finish this and do this a lot better now. So the other nice thing about missiles in 4th gen that people don't know is you can actually multi-lock them still. For example, if we do this... They're too close. And then boom! Like, look at that! That's great! I just have to actually fucking dodge. Instead of being a, just a complete idiot and sitting here. Well, that was interesting again. I also didn't need the missiles for any any, any of those MTs. What's funny is we know who they are just by looking at them. So I don't understand why they're questioning who, like, who sent that. Besides the Maglib Liberation Front whose leader we killed. Okay, a Dark Knight's March should still also be doable what? walking. Just just have to outrange the one thing in the back, but we have hills. What do you mean, ma'am? We don't need any of that. Like, I really like what they did with these flares. I'm just not sure why. Yeah, these are a lot better missiles. Than the ones I was trying to use earlier for those ships. I mean, I guess the flare thing is though kind of nice, considering how they're like they're like actively creating a new like a like a new light source. Up in flames is probably the easiest of the missions left for this. Like, if I just grab a really nice damage quickly, just build up a tank, I can probably out tank him. Where is he at now? Oh, there he is. Shit. Yeah, if we use grenades on him. It's too dangerous. Avoid fighting head on. He doesn't actually have too much firepower. Or I should have been dead already. Yes, thank you. I I did I did in fact notice, sir. Well, that tank just plummeted to the floor. Thank you, game.
actually quite surprised how useless the useless these missiles are for that guy. Oh, there we go. He was actually almost dead. I shouldn't have changed. Yeah, when I fight him, I'm gonna need either some grenades or some high-powered bazookas. This one's definitely just gonna be a tank fight. I do believe I just got a better shoulder, though. Oh, the number of rounds is less. Anywho. Precision's up on these. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do the Judiths. I also can't believe how many different names for these parts there are. Like, the freaking Alicia in this version I have are called the Tahij. Internal purge. So this is where it's gonna be icky for that challenge, cause icebreaker defense, while doable, is gonna suck. This one is not doable because we have to go, because I believe we have to go up. This one with the broken radar is really gonna suck. And internal purge is doable. So Dr. Zero, here's the thing. I could in theory damage boost up by using a rocket, but I don't believe that works in this game. You're after the three massive weapons under construction. So this may work if we if we kill everything on the way. Like, this part, this is going to work fine. The problem's the upcoming part by where the thing is. Looks like GA is really out for blood. Okay, so if we kill all of those normals and kill the trucks from farther back, that does actually solve... Are they shooting me through the wall? I didn't realize how many people are in there. still another normal in here and look overboost actually works on 1.6 isn't that freaking amazing because it definitely does it on 1.0 
Okay, yeah, these things start their firing slow. If we snipe them down, I should be able to get it from that tube. They all just ramming into this barricade in the front. Well, you suck, game. Come on. Where are you locking on to? I think it's locking on to the bottom. How is the jump in a lightweight, by the way? Oh my god, there is no, uh... Oh, the auto boost starts taking you away. I can't actually use that plan I was going to use. The auto boost, once you're inside the air, softens your landing for you so you don't get stunned. Where is this locking... Yeah, it was locking onto the bottom. What is that lock point? Like, it's up there, but it's locking onto the bottom of it on the ground. I guess that technically helps for shooting it when I'm on the ground. So yeah, this one's going to be annoying but doable. Any new better missiles? Yeah, the muscle shells are definitely going to work better for what I need them for. I also assume I have more. Yes, I do have more. So Ego Boost will definitely be doable if I can land my shots. Firefly is going to suck. This might be doable. Line, so Line of Defense is not. Let's go. I believe Ego Boost, if I just get a long-range FCS, ignore the, hel ignore the baby helicopters as much as I can, the normals don't land. Approaching enemy airship squadron confirmed. So I'd have to walk over here as quick as I can. You can ignore all of these. I just have to take out these these helicopters. Not sure if I'd be able to get all of them though. The snipers may be able to one-shot them. Let's manually reload. Oh right, there's no overboost. I don't have any PA. Second enemy wave closing in. They're at the storage facility. Intercept immediately.
I love how they're facing me, but they don't shoot. So these helicopters clearly lock on, but don't have any weapons. The mission was a success. Good work. That is honestly a choice. A really, really dumb choice. But it looks aesthetically nice. See, I would vote, even if they do land, that is doable walking only. So, Sea of Blood, this is going to classify under the... We said that being... Uh, that auto-boosting on the water is fine if I don't have any other options. So, again, a nice energy tank Let's confirm the should be able to do this one fine. Target fixed. Thing here that there's a bunch of heavy weights on here we'd have to take out. So we take out these things. That's Anatolia's next. There's no mistake. Counting on you sharing. And then when he comes out, we shoot him. So that is just some antique. Looks like he doesn't actually have good movement ability. Okay, so if we have some nice grenades, he'll just go down. Yeah. Looks like his range is actually not that good either. Okay, so I need to kill you now. This is taking me forever, but yeah. So if yeah, if you just sit back at like past five, six hundred, he'll just stay by the base and not shoot. That's honestly ridiculously good for me to know. Let's take this guy out. I was fooling around a bit too much at the start there. Yeah, I just can't make missiles work. I love missiles in Armor Core for answer. I do not like them in the 4. I tried, though.
Oh, good. We got the good VTFs. Ones that are actually going to hit shit. Let's go. Of course it crashes, yes. Yay yeah, emulator yeah, updates. Exactly, of course. And Memphis, this is why you never update the PS3 emulator once your game works. Also, I'm trying not to just completely cheese half of this, because that's basically what I'm going to end up doing for the Sunday run. Just want to casually go through this, because I also, I entirely forgot what weapons are actually good. Even in Armored Core for Answer, I forgot what weapons are good, because I'm just so used to just speed running through them. And in this one, it's just 100%, all of the grenades are broken. And then for AC4A, the rockets are just take care of everything. Oh, good. I can just uh, pick up the, the one where it is. Oh, I actually saved over it. Shit. Well, I want the Dearborn 3s. And this one's going to change to the Hitman. And look at that. Good as new. Let Though I didn't know that this guy really won't come out. And he'll only stay at like 7... Uh, like He won't shoot past 500 range. Target fixed. As I said, honestly, he's very, very good for us for this challenge concept. Oh, there he is. Though I will say, I made this one too slow. It's weird because he's coming out now, and I'm not sure why. By the way, these missiles at least work, so I don't care. He's dead. It's just as I heard. Today I lose. Isn't it amazing when you actually have working missiles? Yeah, I need to remember. This is an armored core for answers, so this guy isn't gonna work either. I'm too slow to be using a machine gun. Are the ER 200s here? Yet? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so so far everything through here has been dual will be doable for the no boost challenge. The womb, we can cheese it by using the entrance. So a funny thing is the the prototype no next at the bottom. Okay, I have to remember. 
This is just auto boost being auto boost. But yeah, if I walk, I can get it to walk. Okay. Enemy guard battalion is in position. I normally don't play with auto boost on, so I will have to remember that. I also love how we're shooting people. Like, these aren't Zeus, these are people. These are such good rifles. Now, for as I was saying before, for doing this without boosting, if you don't come out, you can just get them one one at a time. They, and they also can't come in. Anywho, so yeah, that'll be that'll be easily doable. Did they kill each other? Because they shouldn't have died that fast. A hundred percent they killed each other. Because that guy was a lot tankier than the others. Yeah, this is this is what I love about this about AC fourth uh, fourth gen. This is just radiation pouring into into this room for no reason. And you and you freaking wonder why they had to leave the goddamn surface when they have shit like this. Just freaking tubes of radiation coming in. So, funny thing I'm going to show you about this one. The Empress is actually really, really simple. What we're going to do is get a long-range FCS. The longest we can find. So, Mary Shelley, after finishing her entrance, is tied to a particular point on the map. Though I don't believe I can do this one because I believe we start off, like, off the cliff. Enemy next. Oh no, no we don't! That's Prometheus. She's showing no signs of running. Take her out. Goodness. If we just jump up to here, cool this way to she will stay there the entire time. So, in theory, if I just sit here, up on this hill, and manual aim grenades at her, she will dodge none of them, and I will win. But yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't fight. Oh, I just blew myself up. I didn't realize Joshua shows up here if you're dying. I didn't know Joshua shows up if you're dying. That's actually really interesting. Well, apparently the FCS trick only works in Armored Core for in uh, in uh, in Armored Core for answer for that for that one area. Means instead we we get to do this today. So here is here's how this is gonna work for the uh, yeah for the run without boost, and how I also normally do this. Though how I normally do it involves a bit more flying, but for the fact that this is fighting a fighting a sniper, they set the entire thing up. So I'm basically just gonna get up here, turn on manual aim. Way to die, 
and just do this. Like, the fact that this works is freaking hysterical. I didn't even move. It's so good. They tied the sniper to a particular point on the map. And then filled it full of ECM so she can't snipe you. Yeah, let's put this sniper in a place where she isn't going to move, she's not going to kite you, and she can't shoot you from anywhere besides close-range combat. Who designed this? Like, I am sorry, but that's... Why? And now you would think, okay, so this is something to make it easier on normal mode so that a new player can do it. And I get your line of thinking. But the ECM is actually worse on hard mode. No, no, uh, Ty uh, Tiberius. She has a sniper FCS, but the entire place has ECM interference that makes it so your lock on is cut. By so far, it doesn't work. And then on hard mode, they made it stronger. So, this should be a quite an easy one when I'm doing the no boost run. We're just going to have to kill shit as we go. It's honestly going to just be choosing between ammo management. Or actually, I think I can just go through if I blow up the ships. Yeah, I just need to have long range FCS and I should be able to just do it fine. Mmm, working over boost. The regulations are great. Yeah, I just have to get close enough to long range uh, missiles at it. No, the boat I'm shooting at game. The boat in front of me game. Not the other boats lying around the map. The boat in front of me. God damn this lock on. And this is why the other runs have hard mode. So, so here is the thing, Chris. That is a very good question. The biggest thing here is that technically that would be considered vandalism as long as it isn't the military or the police. Because funny thing about, uh, about insurance and the police. One, it does not cover damage caused. Okay, so caused by acts of war. In most cases, most personal policies are not going, going to cover damage from an act of war. Two, the police are not responsible for damaging your house in the, if they're trying to arrest someone. So, like, let's say that they're chasing someone. Because of them, a criminal is now barricaded into your house because they chased them in. And in the end, there's a giant firefight with grenades and everything that damages the house. The police are not responsible. But I believe the insurance may cover it, but I'm not entirely sure on that one. I have honestly not personally had to cover a claim like that, so I'm not sure. But I do know that acts of war, I believe, are not covered in most states. They may be in some. But the police thing is honestly something I find stupid. I love Dearborns.
By the way, yes, I do actually have a plan for when I'm doing this on hard mode. Not hard mode, on the no boost. I'm going to get some grenades and just wedge myself. So, so Memphis, that is not an act of war if they're catching, if they're, sorry, if they're, if they're catching a criminal. That's not an act of war. An act of war would be like, let's say, Canada invades and just starts carpet bombing places. That, that would, that would be an act of war. The, the, uh, police in doing that is not an act of war if they're just chasing a random criminal. Okay, this is not doable because you because you have to climb. Hail of bullets will be doable. Silent avalanche will be doable. Futile resistance is gonna need some checking. Honestly, Fiona did a great job. Whoever voice acted Fiona. So first we're gonna do hail of bullets. And I'm saying I'm going to skip through this. It is going to be a lot harder than when I'm actually doing it later, obviously, because I don't have boost. This is a but area. Don't have much time. I believe I just have to get through these helicopters. And, yeah, I can dodge. So, so I just have to dodge until I can get close enough and then just take these guys out from the water. Because I don't believe I'll, I'll be able to... Uh... Go, missiles, go! Again, my favorite part of AC4 missiles is that you can split them like that very, very quickly. A mechanic that you've probably never seen a single person do. Like I can hear you, you've you've probably never seen a single person playing playing this game do that. Because most people don't realize you can. The mission was a success. But I love how in how in Armored Core for Answer you can get like a you can get a you can get a single volley of a hundred and twenty 128 missiles in one in like one chain and split them between like 16 targets. The only place that's actually useful is Coppercon, but you can do it. So I will be opening up saying this now. This is not possible walking. So depending on what comes after Silent Avalanche, we may be stuck. Because futile resistance is very, very iffy. Considering that jumping apparently doesn't let you move as much. As I would hope. Chris, thank you very 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 much for those bits so first of all Chris uh, Chris to sell you in insurance policy on something you would in fact have to own it now we can technically insure we okay so we probably can insure armored core model kits like I would say I probably can find you insurance on some on some armored core core model kits if you if you do in fact own them. So I may actually have to turn auto boost on, on and off, when I'm doing the uh, the uh, run on Sunday, because I'm not able to technically jump with auto boost on without breaking the no boost rule, because auto boost does it by itself. 
Now, this is one we're going to have some fun with. As you can all see, this is Sol Dios, and this is a this is a required mission. I believe the Ogados will let us do it. So here is the here is the thing about the Sol Dios that people don't realize. They're in they they are technically not immune to damage when it's not open. You just have to have a big enough blast radius. Just because I'm, I'm just gonna boost closer because I don't want to have to walk. Because it's going to be a very long walk when we're doing that. I believe once we get to here, it's a safe range, and we should be able to shoot from here. Okay, and that should blow up and take the, and take the other ones out with it. Then we get to like about here. Once again, it's not going to uh, shoot me from here. We plant to get the extra stability. That one's dead and takes those other ones with it. Then we're gonna have to walk across over here. Let's plant down. And this one should be our target. Direct hit by the base, one of them fell, but that should be fine. Nope. This sideways angle is not good for this. Yeah, we're good. What did your clip crease? Yeah, so while people are going to think this one's going to be hard for Boostless, this is actually probably the easiest mission Boostless in the freaking entire run. The, the longest part is just going to be walking there. What do you mean too slow? We're already done. You're just killing your first one? You're a bit late, White Glint. We're done. So, funny other thing. You can actually kill White Glint's uh, Sol Dios before you actually like get in. So as we all know, just from what what you've seen, we're just we're just gonna grenade Anju. Anju is once again gonna be a very easy kill. So so far, we're in the situation where we can beat every mission so far. Probably quite easily, well not easily, but we'll be able to do them without boost. So yeah, so Andrew's gonna be good. Pillar of Lights, there are a bunch that aren't doable, but there should be enough that are doable. So the only things I see an issue is Exavil, the grenades might not reach, and then just just the last fight. Which depending on RNG, when he when he goes to do his flips, we can in theory beat him. Well, she she's dead. 
Honestly, Split Moon would have done a lot better in here. Let's do our little chicken dance. I love... I honestly enjoy the chicken leg dance. So of all of these, Feudal Resistance is going to be our best bet. When we're doing... The, uh, actually... Feudal resistance is probably going to be our best bet. So let's check. Let's let's go. Let's go take a look. The problem is the radar. Definitely going to need the radar to work when we're doing it. Eliminate all experimental enemy formals. Kojima particle concentrations in the area are higher than expected. Afraid there's no way to avoid the damage. Take the objectives out as quickly as possible. Okay, so we can walk on these. Yeah, that's fine. So we can walk on that. And then is it just the four on the bottom? Is that it? Is that all that is that all we have to worry about on normal mode? Okay, this is gonna be easy. Yeah, it, if it's just those seven, we can e we can easily do this boostless. Just have to give good use of AS missiles and curving them around objects, or just or just grenade them through. Honestly, I don't care about the overweight for this circumstance. Just gotta see if we can reach it from the ground. Your objective is Ray Leonard's headquarters, Exeter. This is the last of them. If we can reach the proper points from the, from the ground, then this is doable. Can this reach is the question. Okay, yep, yep, this is doable. I didn't realize that there that there are dudes down here. if we get crushed by that yeah we just have to bring some good powered arms to take those out and yeah then we just have the final level Well, let's go beat this then. God, even when I'm just casually doing this, this game is just so short.
guess there's little Honestly, I may go for the speed run on this one too. Speed run should be quite easy, to be honest. Like, you, everything just dies. Especially using the freaking grenades you can start with. Oh! I didn't realize missiles don't lock on right when he does his quick boost. Or when he jumps! Really, his hop stops missiles. Well, let's just kill him then. Just watch his health get chipped down. So that's not going to be a speedrun category. That is that is that is a pain category. You wanna stop boosting around like an asshole and jump, please? Give me your twirl. You know, I've never gotten him to low health without just blading him or something. This is honestly annoying as hell. Now I see why people hate him. Though I love how he keeps trying to use, like, why does this guy of all things kneel to use a cannon? Like, it's not just me. He shouldn't have to kneel to use a cannon, right? Considering that we don't even have to? I almost ran out of ammo. 100%. This is for the best. Oh, that was an hour and 20 minutes. But yeah, we have our route for Sunday. As far as I can tell, this is actually going to be doable. Which is good for us, because it would kind of suck if it wasn't. Uh, Memphis, what felt, uh, sorry, sorry, what felt shorter? AC5 looking ass. Yeah, so I'm at an hour and 19 minutes and 25 seconds right now on the recording, which started before I press a new game. Honestly, as long as long as it was entertaining, I don't hey, care how it felt. Can you hear me? Like I don't care if it feels like it was nine like nine hours, as long as you guys had fun. But yeah, I did also kind of blow through a lot of it pretty quick, because a lot of the missions are kinda nothing. Uh that does not include the crashes. If we are counting crashes Uh actually yes. Okay, so yes. So okay, so Okay, so it includes the crashes once I started the current run. If we're counting before I reset and show Salif at the start, then then the entire thing with me trying to get the game going was an hour and 40 minutes. But since we're here, there is one thing I'm going to quickly try. But yeah, so it did technically count every single crash once I chose the Salif. Does this game have grenade arms? It it does not. Wait. The fuck? Why are there no stats on these weapons? Game, please. Does the does the right arm have them? No. Why 
Well. You know, you know what, what's funny? The highest average defense, surely because of energy, is actually the Linstant head. Actually, no, probably the Telus, right? Yeah, no, Hilbert. Oh, Hilbert actually has pretty good defense. All things considered, nice. Well, time to go tank. So what so what what we're doing here currently is that we're going to test uh, the final mission and just see how much this is going to suck be before we stop because this is this is the only f like a uh, foreseeable wall that I have besides like a few of the water missions. I also forgot you can't skip this cutscene. I guess there's little need for words. So what we're gonna have to do is roll up on top of the hill next to us. I just need any elev oh never mind, we start on a hill. Question is, does he come close enough? And the answer is yes. I forgot he has assault armor. Yeah, guys. This is this is this is going to work. 100% the boost list is going to work. I can't wait for Sunday. I can in theory use this exact thing for like every single goddamn next fight. 